Having a to-do list that has a due date, a due date, and review date that you can see all on different calendar views can be really, really useful. So stick around and I'll show you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. To start with, I do want to say that if you do have tasks that don't really need any dates, you can just use a to-do box, a bullet point, or have a numbered list, it's entirely up to you. But if you do need more flexibility with the tasks that you're doing, or you need to see them further in advance, then I would highly suggest using a database. I know from my experience, I actually like planning a lot of my tasks ahead of time, so I like being able to put them all into a database for a calendar view, and then they just appear on the day that I need to do them. So we're going to create a table-based view of the database, call it calendar, and now what we're going to do is add in date properties. So you can put the due date, which is when you're going to actually do the task. The due date, so when the task needs to be done by. Then we can add in some tasks and start assigning some dates. So I'm just going to use today, tomorrow, and then the day after, just as an example. But obviously, whenever you're adding dates in, you can put the dates that are appropriate. Then the due date, maybe that's the due date of the project that you have in a roll-up, or it's just a due date that you know it needs to get done by. So we can add that in there. And then for the review date, you could have another date property as a review date, or you could have it calculated for you by using a formula. So what we're going to do is use the date add formula, select the date that we want to add it to, we can add it to the due date or the due date. We're going to select how many days ahead, or weeks, or months, it's entirely up to you put days or weeks or months depending on what you've chosen and then it will calculate that for you. Now it's all well and good seeing it in a table but for me I like being able to visualize the dates in a calendar. So we're going to go to the calendar view and you can see there are those tasks in there with the due date. So this was the date that we needed to action these tasks. We actually needed to do these tasks. Now I'm going to create another calendar view of the database but what I'm going to do is go into the menu calendar by and then select due date. This means that I now have the due date showing instead of the due date showing. If I add the properties and show the properties, you can see I have the due date at the top, the due date, and then the review date. When I move that tile, the due date changes, but the due date doesn't. So if I wanted to change the date I wanted to do something, I would need to go to the due date calendar, and then change it from there, and then the due date will change. However, it doesn't quite work the same when you're using the formula. So we're going to create another calendar view, we're going to go into calendar by, and we're going to select that formula. And what it's done is it's put those tasks on the date that it needs to be done. But because it's a formula, you can't actually move it around. All it will do is move it outside of the database because it's not actually a date property, it's a formula property. If that does happen, you can go back to your table view, just move that page back into the database, and it saved the dates so everything is still the same when you drag it back in. If you're looking to put your to-do list in your daily planner, then I suggest checking out this video over here, and I'll see you there.